Pete Thorne. Welcome to my studio. I wanted to make this quick video uh, to talk a little bit about guitar tone and specifically to address the tonal degradation that can occur uh, when you're running a lot of cable between the output of your guitar and the front end of your guitar amplifier. So if we consider that these days a lot of guitar players are using pedals of some sort, at least a few, uh, you're probably running like, uh, you know, 10, 15, 20 feet of cable maybe from the output of your guitar to your pedal board. Then you've got your guitar pedals connected together with a bunch of patch cables. There's all the uh, circuitry of the pedals too that can come into play. Uh, let's not get into that in this video. That's almost a subject for another video. But just consider that you're running through all that guitar cable uh, going to the end of your pedal board. Then you're coming out of the last pedal in the chain. You're gonna run maybe 15 or 20 feet of cable to your guitar amplifier. Pretty easy to run like 50 feet of cable from your guitar to the front end of your amp these days. Now, the output of most guitars, not all, but most, uh, is a passive high impedance signal, okay? Uh, what that means is high impedance signals, as they travel down guitar cable, they lose something. There's this thing that builds up in every foot of cable called capacitance. Most people think that you hear it after about 18 feet of cable or so. Capacitance ends up sounding like high end rolling off. Uh, and the, the more cable that you run, the more of that effect that you're going to get. So in those clips at the beginning of the video, what you saw me doing was, uh, uh, in the first clip, I'm using a high quality 10 foot guitar cable. It's a Providence cable, low capacitance. I should mention not all cables are created the same. So you can get ones that, that actually have more of this capacitance effect than others. So I go for those low capacitance, high quality cables. Uh, so I was plugged right out of my Sir uh, Classic T guitar with a 10 foot cable into the front of my PT100 amp. Nice and pure guitar tone. Sounds rich, sounds defined, everything's cool. In the next clip, what you heard was me plugging that same 10 foot guitar cable into this True Bypass TC tuner here. It's True Bypass, so it doesn't affect the signal at all. Uh, I was coming out of the TC tuner with 20 feet of uh, Providence guitar cable going into the front end of the amp. So now I'm using a net total of 30 feet of cable. And I'm sure you heard that it still sounds good and everything, but a little bit of high end roll off. It doesn't sound quite as clear or defined as when you're just using 10 feet of cable. That's just the nature of a high impedance guitar signal. Uh, so then in the next clip, what you heard me do was use this crazy coily cable that I have here that's like, I don't know, 100 feet of cable or something like that. And I'm sure you heard it just absolutely neuters the guitar sound. Sounds almost like I've got a wah pedal stuck on and rolled back. Um, you know, completely basically changes the guitar tone. So that's a really extreme example of capacitance and its effect on your tone. So what's the answer to all these tonal troubles, trials, and tribulations you may be asking? Well, it's a high quality buffer. I hold one here in my hands. It's the Providence Vitalizer WV. Now this is a really high quality guitar buffer circuit built into a small little pedal board friendly box. Uh, it's got a nine volt power jack on it there, an input and an output, that's it. You're meant to put this on your pedal board and what its job is, and it says right on it, is it's an active impedance converter. It converts the signal from high impedance to low impedance. Low impedance signals don't suffer from any of those problems that high impedance ones do, okay? So no capacitance, no high end loss, none of that stuff. You're gonna be able to drive 50 or 100 feet, you know, beyond that, even with this box of cable. Uh, and you're not gonna lose anything, which is gonna sound great. So I wanna demonstrate this for you. I wanna prove it through a demonstration. So once again, I'm gonna play the clip of my guitar plugged with a 10 foot cable right into the front of my guitar amp. And then what I'm gonna do is play you a clip of that same 10 foot cable plugged into this box. And then I'm gonna come out of the vitalizer with that crazy long coily cable, the 50 feet of cable. And I wanna show you a direct AB to show you that this thing basically makes it sound like I'm plugged directly into the amp right with the 10 foot cable. Okay, let's check that out. <laughs> Then I'm sure you heard how the Providence Vitalizer WV helped my guitar signal stay nice and clean and intact and didn't get screwed up by that crazy coily cable. So even when I'm running the coily cable after the buffer, 
uh, hundred feet of cable it didn't affect uh, the tone. The tone stayed nice and pure uh, when I had the buffer in line. So that's a, a really good lesson. When you're using a buffer, uh, know that everything that comes after the buffer is now what you kind of don't need to worry about. That's what's going to get kind of decoupled from the guitar signal. Now you're going to be able to run 50 feet or 75 feet or whatever you want after the buffer and know that your guitar signal will stay nice and pure. Whatever comes before the buffer, that's still going to affect the sound. So maybe you like the sound of a certain guitar cable, like you you know just a little bit of capacitance and your signal's cool or something, a certain 18 foot or 20 foot cable and you really like the tone of that cable. You're going to be able to take that 18 or 20 feet of cable, plug it into this guy and that tone's going to stay intact. Whatever comes after this now is not going to affect your tone at all. Okay, so that's it. Uh, thanks for checking out my video on uh, buffers and capacitance and uh, specifically on the Providence Vitalizer WV. You can check this out further at the website you see there on your screen. Come back to see me for more videos real soon. I'm Pete Thorne. Take care.